It's August in Texas, and you know what that means. Back to school is on the forefront of everybody's minds. And right now, there are three reasons that homeschooling is exploding. Um, you know, this is, not, this is true not just in Texas, but all over the country. So let's talk about those three reasons and why we see so much interest, uh, in fact, an unprecedented interest in homeschooling. So number one, as you might expect, there's a great deal of uncertainty about the COVID-19 virus, what that looks like in relationship to the upstarting or the starting again of schools. The TEA recently put out their recommendations and the week that happened, our call volume tripled. We went from over 300 calls a week to almost 900 calls a week. And that is because there's a great deal of uncertainty about how the COVID-19 virus will impact children. Some data seems to suggest that children are not adversely impacted, at least statistically speaking. And yet parents, many parents, uh, are driven by the fear promoted by the media in this are, and are concerned about their children. I don't blame them. People don't wanna take a chance with their children. So that's a big reason the uncertainty related to the virus. Number two, as I mentioned, the TEA put out their guidelines and initially they said we're gonna have, the schools are gonna have in-person uh, schooling and then they're going to have an option for online and uh, there's a lot of a lot of pushback in regard to that and part of that is related to teachers the teacher unions are very clearly opposed they do not want schools to start up again they are concerned perhaps rightly so about how this would impact teachers secondly or thirdly uh, you've got a number of people who are concerned about uh, what these guidelines are going to be for children if they do do in-person schooling. So the TEA is laid out, uh, some of this is left up to the local school district, but we're looking at uh, requiring face masks for children 10 or over all day long, looking at distancing, social distancing in the classroom, six feet apart. Uh, that would continue in the cafeteria and on the playground. So many parents are concerned about what that would look like, how that would impact their children in that experience. So that is a great deal of concern. And finally, even if parents are allowed to do online learning or online schooling from the public schools, many families had a, did not have a positive experience with that process last spring. Uh, in fact, the, when I talk to people about the difference between homeschooling and online schooling, I point out that the schools expected these children to sit in front of a computer screen for six hours a day. That is just not sustainable. If you've got younger kids, uh, uh, students that have uh, elementary age students can do in a couple of hours with a parent what it takes all day long in a classroom. And if you've got older students, one to three hours, they can accomplish this. So we were focused on what you accomplish, not how long it takes you to do that. And so many parents are looking at that experience and saying, you know what, we're not gonna go through that again. We're gonna try this homeschooling thing. So uh, click on the links below for more information. Go to thsc.org and click on our information on how to homeschool in Texas. Lots of great information. And uh, keep looking at these videos, share these with your friends, and thank you for helping us keep Texas families free.